we're doing prime factorization with the upside down division thingy. And we're going to use 3465 to, to factor into primes. So we know what the answer is because we did it with the factor tree, but I'm going to do it with the upside down division thingy. So as in the first, the previous video, you look at the number and you go, okay, what is a prime number that goes into it? So you can use either your three tricks to three trick to find out, or if there's a two, but I see a five at the end, so I know there's a five that's going to go into it. So I can either go off to the side or I can do it mentally. So five goes into 34 and two, three, five, and s sometimes seven are pretty easy to do mentally. When you get up into the higher ones, then it's a little bit more difficult. So five goes into 34 six times, and then you have a remainder four, bring down the six. Five goes into 46 nine times, and then you have, um, what's that? 45 and then 1 and 5 so there's 693 so I do that's not a prime so I do the division the upside down division bar thing again and I see that it's divisible by 3 because I can add these and I go 3 goes into 6 twice and into 9 3 times and into 3 once you go wow is 231 a prime well, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so that is divisible by 3 again. Put a 3 there. So 3 goes into 23 7 times. Oh, there's another 7. So there's 77. That's not prime because I know that 11 times 7 is 77. Oh, and there's a prime just so happens that there's also a 7 ending this one as the previous one. I could have easily put a 7 here and the 11 there. So then I can write 3, 4, 6, 5. The number in prime, as a prime factorization, is 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11. And there is the prime factorization of 3465 with the upside down division thingy method.